Good morning, brothers and sisters of St. Peter's. Here are the announcements for the week of February 28th, 2022. We begin Lent on Ash Wednesday this week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, March 1st, will be Bernard Moran's memorial service here in the St. Peter's Sanctuary. Ash Wednesday services will be March 2nd at noon and 6 p.m. The Lenten Wednesday books are in, and you can pick them up anytime here at the church office. We'll have our first soup supper on Wednesday, March 9th. There'll be Stations of the Cross at 5 p.m., Soup Supper at 5.30, followed by our book discussion. Please read to, to page 49 in preparation for our time together to re reflect on our book, The Pilgrim Road. Daughters of the King, Holy Trini Trinity, Gillette Chapter is inviting, inviting the women of St. Peter's to a quiet day on Saturday, March 5th from 10 to 2. Please RSVP by February 28th, or for more information, contact Holy Trinity at 307-682-4296, and we'll have the email in the announcements that we post on the webpage. You can also call St. Peter's office here if you want more information on that quiet time. There are openings for coffee hour hosts on April 10th and April 17th. Please see the sign-up sheet in the parish hall for this ministry. Our Bible study this Wednesday is from 1 to 3, 1.30 to 3 in the parish hall, and also this Sunday in the church library from 9 to 9.45. We'll read and reflect on the scripture for the first Sunday of Lent. The diaper bank, Nancy, and, Nancy Joe and Lynn have an abundance of size threes and fours, but they could use other sizes and wipes. Thank you all who continue to support this ministry that is impacting people on a daily basis. Our launch ministry is continuing to supply young people with nutrition. Thank you all for your continued support of this vital ministry to those in need. St. Peter's is also going to install and supply a food pantry at the Bramble Motel. The Bramble provides shelter for many of Sheridan's homeless, and this pantry will serve folks of all ages that are experiencing food insecurity. We're looking for volunteers to help us keep this pantry stocked. If you're interested, please call Elisa at the church office, 674-7655. And their prayer for the sick is on page 260 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants, and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that Ray, Lorna, and Mary Daly, for whom our prayers are offered, may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, we give you thanks for miracles and answered prayers as your people are strengthened and renewed through our intercessions with you. We give you thanks for all the blessings of this life and in the, into the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. And this coming Sunday's collect, collect is as follows. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, Come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let us let each one find you mighty to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And thank you for tuning in to these messages, and we hope to see you here at St. Peter's sometime this week. God bless.